And now, here's the breakdown with Justin Hunt. We got Justin Hunt doing the breakdown. What's up, Justin? Jude, what's going on, brother? Shit, chilling, bro. Chilling. What you got for us today? Yo, I saw this video on Instagram. It made me think about the dynamic of a lot of our conversations. And it was posted uh, two days ago on the Instagram account, The Cycle. And it's titled, When You Try to Make an Old Head Listen to New Hip Hop. So How have, old is the old head? Like my age? This doesn't actually say what the age is, but the clip is funny. All right, let's check it out. What the fuck is a little boat anyway? Fuck mumble rap. Real hip hop. Now all these rappers sound the same. Versace? No, I don't listen to none of this new shit. Hip hop is dead. Lil Zan, Lil Perk. Go shawty. It's your birthday. Lil Adderall, Lil Tylenol. This one is for Pac and Big. All they do now is make memes. Meanies? You gon' party like this shit birthday? That's my shit. Man, fuck you. Mm. Lyricism. 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 This generation's so lost. Y'all know nothing about this. Kanye got some hot beats. That's it. Hip hop. Yo. Chill. <laughs> That's a shout out to uh, Ambrosia for Heads. They posted a great article about this video and had an interesting conversation on the differences between generations. So I don't know if you guys caught it at the very end. That was Lil Yachty. They yeah. reached out to Lil Yachty. The screen goes black for a second. It says, we reached out to Lil Yachty for comment. No, we really did. And then Yachty comes in and says, chill. Well, that was that was a joke. Yeah. It's a, so it, that guy actually likes you. He probably likes you. Younger rap. It looked like he was clowning on fucking. It looked. I felt like he was clowning on old heads. I don't think so. I mean, I think that this is a. I mean, perhaps it's taken that way. It may, maybe it's a, a, a skit. I don't. I didn't see anything around it, and even in the comments, it doesn't even say it on the post that they put up about it. But either way, that mentality, that perspective, is everywhere. Like there is a generation gap in terms of what we value in our music. Look, man. A lot of those. A lot of the problems that people have with new rap, I don't have. Like if you you can you go back and you we had yo Bismarck he wasn't a fucking lyricist, you know uh, people that works that have been uh, you know Foxy and Lil Kim had people ghostwriting for them, you know uh, shit Bismarck he had people ghostwriting for them, so like so I'm not as concerned with lyrics and all that shit. My main thing is this: hip hop is now pop music, so they're reaching a a new demographic. They're trying to appeal to a broader audience when i was listening to that shit they just weren't like they kind of like yo if, if it crossed over that was awesome but like cats are just making shit f- for their group of people they're not making it for me no more they're making it for a fuck they're they're, they're making pop music is th- rap is more popular than it's ever been i think there was a lot of pop rap I just don't think we like to talk about it from then. Like young was, mc was like pop rap there was pop rap but that's now everybody's a version of Young MC. I guess that's my... Th- there's more Young MCs out there now than there were before. I have to agree with that. I But I think there's just more rappers now. That's the thing. Like, if I really look at the charts, if I really look at who's selling records, it's not the pop rappers. It's the guys who happen to cross over. It's like... It's the equivalent of, like, a Jay-Z's Hard Knock Life, right? He took an Annie sample, and that's his first you know, major... That was his biggest hit at the time first album they had that went like four times platinum right hard knock life volume two right and that's an example of a track that just kind of crosses over you know it's still bar driven i think about a lot of songs that j cole puts out just like that but to your point with the hard knock life jay-z already had fucking two albums that were that were people were fucking with that didn't cross over like he was already successful and he was already successful in rap size I think a lot of cats these days have the equivalent in the mixtape circuit, which wasn't as defined back then as it is now. Like mixtapes were like pause tapes, or people taking different tracks and putting them together and coming up with stuff. So, like you look at, I mean, if you keep J Cole as an example, you know, um, uh, the warm up Friday Night Lights weren't necessarily commercial hits, and they definitely didn't have as many commercial ready songs on them. But those were the ones that made people like him in the first place. You can even look at Wiz Khalifa. He's a great example about that. Like, if you look at the Cushion Orange Juice series, it yeah. doesn't sound anything like the 
mega tracks he's putting out now. He definitely showcased a different skill set when he was putting those projects out. But then you get to a point where, okay, now you are a superstar. Now you have superstar type dollars behind you. And what is success? You can't have a, a what, what good is a viral hit if it doesn't actually sell streams? Here's something else that really isn't talked about. The uh, Now that Cat's got to pay for samples, the a lot of times those beats suffer. You know what I mean? Like, it's it, yo, you, you grab you a Bob James or a fucking James Brown or some shit, you freak that shit, and yo, that beat was real funky and groovy. Now these cats got to pay for samples, so the, the sound, the, sound-wise, it's a bit different. Also, uh, something else that wasn't, that wasn't really touched on in that one is uh, authenticity doesn't matter as much now. Like, they don't give a fuck. That's the biggest difference to me. Samples, I think, is a great point because hip hop is rooted in samples, right? You know, I also think that samples made up for the fact that a lot of cats weren't necessarily using instruments, which yeah. is harder to do, yep. especially if you don't have a music class in school. How are you going to learn how to play the violin if you don't? They don't teach it in your school. It's expensive to go to music to, to learn to get a private teacher to teach you how to play an instrument. Yep. So I think the production suffers on that end. But the authenticity is the one thing that I think. Uh, that I that I miss more than anything else. I have a I look at it the same way in basketball as I do in rap. It wasn't cool to have to rap like anybody else to not be authentic in the '90s. There were rap beefs that started because of that. Yeah. And the same thing with basketball. The like I, we were talking about Lonzo Ball the other week. He's got an unorthodox jump shot. Nobody in the NBA has an unorthodox jump shot anymore. There aren't any Bill Cartwright jump shots. Everybody right. shoots the same because they go to the same AAU camp since yeah. they're born. Mm -hmm. So everyone is kind of a carbon copy of each other because that's what's been deemed successful. That's what rap kind of is. Yeah, look, I remember Lords of the Underground got fucking flack because one of their songs sounded like Das Effects. Like, right. And nowadays... It's like, oh, that's awesome. You sound like Future. Panda's great. You know what I mean? Like, yo, dude, like the 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 secret to success now is just to bite other motherfuckers' shit, and that has become acceptable. I wonder sometimes whether it's become acceptable because it makes money or if it becomes acceptable because people really like that style. Look, man, this is I'm a, rap was like the ugly dude that couldn't get girls back in the day was like I don't need that girl. Like they was always talking about like I don't want to cross over. Like motherfuckers didn't want to cross over cuz they couldn't cross over. They weren't accepted by the mainstream media, therefore they rejected the mainstream media. As soon as they got into that mainstream media and it's really started making that fucking money, it was all about like doing Sprite commercials. The cats were trying to cross over as much as fucking possible. And in all of those rules and regulations that they had of not biting, not doing this, not doing that, it went out the fucking window for, for some fucking dough. Like when I saw Karis one doing a Sprite commercial, I was like, it's over. It's a fucking rap. It's done. Here's somebody that was like, here's somebody that was stopped the violence movement, super anti-establishment, and now he's fucking, he's 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 pumping out, pumping out, he's shilling for fucking a Coca-Cola product. I, I don't have a problem with that though. I don't. I honestly don't have a problem with that. As long as it's authentic, I think it's cool to get money from uh, from a uh, you know from a major corporation. I think that's fine too. But I'm saying it. Like it, I don't think KRS lost it authenticity. Came at a, it came at a cost. It came at a cost because you're like, oh, okay, well, how else can I get money? And then it turns into, and then you you go down the road if, uh, a few years, and now it's not about how good they are. It's like he getting money. That's and that's where they traded they traded the art for the money. What did did he say? I don't worry if I write rhymes, I write checks. Yeah, it and and that's and that's where we're at now. Instead of instead of this being about the art, now it's about the dough. Oh, you can't knock his hustle. Well, see, I'm, I, I stopped short with you on that one okay. because I still think that regardless of how designer might sound like Future right now, I think newer artists generally sound like their influences. People pretty much start off trying to be like the cats that they want to be like. That's right? a good point. Kobe definitely loved Michael Jordan. Yeah. If you could say Kobe's awesome, he did all these amazing things, but he loved Michael Jordan. He added a three-point shot and a crossover, but he loved Michael Jordan. Changed his number. 24 over 23 because that's how much he loved Michael Jordan yeah I still think future's the defining artist of what we consider mumble rap and future just had two number one records this year and one was more trap based and one was more commercial radio based but that is still the definition or at least still the prototype for modern you know trap mumble rap 
combination music. And nobody's had more success than Future has had yet. No one's run the mixtape game as long as Future did. No one has run strip clubs as long as Future has. And he came from the Dungeon family, so he had a you know a different uh, appreciation for authenticity, which is why he had to rap like that in the first place. Because those guys had the most dynamic, complicated, astronomical type styles and flows, and he couldn't get on a track with them if he rapped like Andre, Big Boy, CeeLo, Cujo. Right. He couldn't rap, so what's left if everyone's complicated? Complicated, you just start mumbling. I guess you keep pointing to like people that are really, really, really extra doing it, but there's for every person that's really, really, really extra doing it, there's a thousand cookie cutters that come and go. Like, I don't even take time hating on rappers because I know that they're going to disappear in a fucking year. Like, and they have proved they've proven me, they've proven me right time and time and time again. I don't know if it's that different from when I think about the 90s, though. Like, I, I, I Vanilla Ice came out, he might as well wanted to be the next MC Hammer. Um, Jay-Z changed styles three times before he landed on the one that became his style that was most successful. He came out sounding like Das Effects. He was rapping fast. Yeah, he, he, well, that was, that was a, you know, a lot of these cats are a reflection of their times. You know, you listen to you listen to early Pac. He was on. It was like when the new Jack Swing shit was kind of popping. Uh, you know, when my homies called, it was, it was a diff, a little different vibe. Uh, shit, party and bullshit. But what Biggie was a different sound than what he ended up settling into. I'm not. I don't hold anything against rappers for fucking developing their sound. You got to start somewhere. It's just where you end and can you stay holding on. And what I'm saying is half these motherfuckers cannot stay holding on. They go the fuck away forever. I think the volume of rappers is higher, so it feels different. But I think about that the same. Like, where is Lords of the Underground now? We said that they sounded like DOS FX. They really had an album and a half. Yeah. Then they went away. That's most of these guys. Like, Yachty, Uzi, they're going to have to evolve. It's a crowded landscape. Now, while they're getting their money now, while they're getting their Sprite deals now, Yachty's got a great Sprite commercial. I love it. Cold like Minnesota. Cold like Minnesota. He's going to have to evolve his style at some point in order for people to continue to grow with you. You have to grow with your audience, right? If you're 12, 13 loving the song and you come out five, five years later with another album, that same fan is like 17, 18. Yeah, There's they, a huge difference between 17, 18 and 12, 13. Yeah, they reject you. All right, we got a bunch of people. 8 today, 742 Let's go to uh, Ant in L- L.A. Ant. Yo, what's happening, man? You got it, bro. What up, though? Hey, ain't shit, man. Love the show, all of that. You're real good talk. But, um, like, yo, I'm listening to the convo, and, like, I hear Uzi, I hear Yachty, like, these niggas got no substance whatsoever. Like, there's nothing that is being said. You got uh, 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 Panda going off behind Future, and I get it, you know, follow your footprint, get your own sound, make your money, do your own thing. But eventually, some of these niggas just got to be like, yo, I did what I had to do. I got my little bread. Now now let me show these niggas who I am. But everybody just seemed like, yo, I'm just going to follow the same person, same person. Like, I don't even hear really no more 808. You see what I'm saying? And, and as far as Future having the uh, the strip club on Shakedown, like, I remember uh, Jermaine Dupree with the So So Death Base All Stars and Raheem the Dream and, and, and goddamn the Dungeon family. They had to, they had to shake done. You know what I mean? Luke. So, I, I, yeah, exactly. Luke, two live crew. Like, what is this new shit? Like, I would, I would love to rock with it, but I don't know what the fuck they saying. And that shit is killing me. You got to listen to some of the stuff, man. Like, Uzi Vert. That joined um, XO Tour Life 3, man. Ock was playing it the other day. I had a new appreciation for it, man. Push me to the edge. All my friends are dead. Push me to the edge. All my friends are dead. It's a poppy sounded club song. That's that's a universal substance right there. I think a lot of but times. I, a lot all of times my we friends just, are dead. He's talking about his money. Still. It's, it's, a, that, deep. A, it's a metaphor. It's day. a brand new metaphor. Wow. It is. Right. I got it. I see, I see what you're saying, wow. my brother. I, honestly, nice, I do. But, I, but at is. the same time, like. If you put on, if you put on, get out and get something, the whole Dungeon family said something like, okay, like this shit actually means something. I can understand what the fuck they saying. I listen to Lil Uzi or 21 Savage, like, I don't know what the fuck you talking about. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, there, there's no relation into that. Uh, it, if I was 10 or 11, you know what I mean, on Snapchat all day, I guess it would make sense. I was driving around listening to uh, psh, Eric B and Rockham, uh, follow the leader and my man is saying some real shit like he's really repping his religion and 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 talking about where he comes from and 
you just you just don't hear that in a in a, in a single anymore. And and that's my reason. These singles are made for a broader audience. So what do broader audience appeal to? It's partying, it's fucking money, it's it's slanging dope, shit like that. That like no one's no one's talking about fucking uh no one's talking about being a five percenter and fucking it's just not it's just not happening like that. And then when they do, they dick suck the fuck out of them because they're like, oh my god, he's really he's really he's so woke. It's like, yo, man, half the rappers dropping shit back in the day was woke. That's all I'm saying. And woke and like it, it wasn't even a term because it's just that's what the fuck you were. You weren't a fucking idiot. Knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Yeah, it was a standard. It was definitely a standard. And and that's kind of gone away. And look, man, here here's the other thing. Like, uh, you know, it's just. I, I don't even get I don't even get mad at these cats for liking what they like. They just came up differently than me. They're in a, they're in a, they came up differently. They're being they I can't even imagine having major companies advertise to me all the time. All like every time I every time you pull out your phone, you think that you're like you're doing some shit that's on your own. Yo, you you got major companies fucking coming at you at all fucking times. These these kids are being marketed to and don't even realize it. They think like they they think that they're like retweeting some shit that they came up with. No, bro, this shit's getting fed from over here, over here, over here. You're getting fucked every which way, bro. Even these blogs are getting kickbacks on stuff. You know that shit. I know that shit. There's there's so the the level of marketing that's happening to to young kids right now has never been seen ever ever i think you could say the same thing at that point in time in the 90s or early 2000s even then the level of marketing that was hitting kids had never been seen then you know we're seeing a progression of the same stuff but like rap has been talking about clothes for a long time they've been talking about jewelry for a long time rap's been talking about cars for a long time are you telling but yeah, at that time, but sure. it's gotten even worse since then. That's yeah, all I'm saying. But even at that time, it was worse than it had ever been. So the, the 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 saga continues, right? That's my whole point. I can't look at this generation as necessarily uh, having a different connection to um, uh, finding creative ways to, to do things. I think authenticity is the one gap that I have where people are really open to sounding like other people. I just, but I, I listen to Uzi Vert. I don't care if he's talking about money or not. It's a new it's a new flip on an old concept. I mean, you know, Rakit was saying as I cold show my rope and my fat gold chain. You know, like these are this is old stuff. Are you are you compl- <clears throat> are you comparing Uzi Vert to Rakim? I'm I'm saying that rappers been talking about money for a long time. Yeah, but he he was more than just money. Sure. That is that's the sure. difference. That's the difference, bro. That's a big, you and that's a giant Uzi? difference. You, I think I think these cats are more than what they seem to be as well. I'm sure that I'm sure they're hella deep. The one guy doesn't even know what a fucking cello is, bro. <laughs> hey, they don't have we don't have music class in school. That's the, not his fault. Yeah, this is we had music class. They don't yeah, have music class now. This is parents, dog. Like quit, 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 quit counting on the school to raise your fucking child. Uh, my parents don't know nothing about playing the cello. Well, you should probably learn about it before you drop that shit in a fucking rhyme. <laughs> Fucking blowing a cello. It's a string instrument, you fucking dipshit. Sometimes you gotta flip shit just to be on some new shit. All right, let's go. Uh, bo- 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 bo. Um, Nada, what up, Nada? Yo, what's going on, man? How you doing? What up, though? I'm chilling. I'm chilling. So I'm listening to the breakdown, and man, I gotta agree with like basically like everything you guys are saying. Like one thing that I gotta point out that you made um a valid point at is that um you know. I don't agree with you, man. Like, I feel like nowadays, a lot of these rappers, they don't give a shit about the old school rap. They don't know who KRS-One is. They don't know who Rock Kim is. They they don't know who Big L is. You know what I'm saying? But, like, um, I agree with you in the sense that it did get worse. It's always been like this, though. It's kind of been like this. It's the Snap Your Fingers movement when um, uh, uh, Looking Good in My White Tee when that song came out by the Franchise Boys. So, But it's getting worse because it's kind of like... Um, these kids, they just don't give a shit, the new rappers, you know? And at the same time with the new rappers, like, I feel like, you know, they're not all putting out bad music, but one thing that I agree with, it's not it's not authentic and it's not original, which is kind of like, you know, sometimes I listen to the radio, I listen to XM, and when they don't put the artist, they only put the DJ, I can't tell the difference who's who. Every- all right, what do you want to say to that? Well, look, I, Rakim had a great quote about this. Last November, there was Complex Con. They had a panel. Right, right. Um, and uh, 
Ray, Ray, excuse me, Raekwon. Raekwon was asked if he's upset when people don't know about Wu Tang and everything they add to the game. Here's what he said. He said, "Nah, because you might you might not have come from that time when we was doing our thing. It's the same how I'm up on Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five, but I don't know his entire generation like that." I had to learn it. I had to do my homework, but I was only looking at what I felt I wanted to look at. Yeah, it's I not a new thing. I don't knock anybody for being ignorant to fucking styles. I do knock them for dismissing uh, dismissing rappers without listening to them. But like being ignorant, hey man, like Wu came out twenty something, like damn near twenty years ago, or was ninety three, right? Uh, like I'm, I can't get mad at somebody for not knowing that shit. That that really wasn't my point. My, my cellos came out a long time ago too. Bro, are you still defending the motherfucker <laughs> that don't know shit about a fucking cello, bro? Um <sighs> Look, I think and here's the other thing. I think some of these rappers are being they're as deep as they can be. Some some motherfuckers are just shallow and they're doing the best they can. And that's I don't like I'm not I don't I'm not like fuck these dudes. I just don't listen to them. It's it's not it's you know, it's not for me. It's it's not my taste. And then there's been other times where I'm like driving home, I'm like, hey, I kind of like this song. The water, I like the little fucking water song. Like I was like, it's catchy. It's a catchy. It's a catchy tune. Ugly God. Is that what it is? And That's then the who's joke. the guy? At the who's and then the guy at the end fucking shits. I I don't like him rapping. <laughs> Kodak Black. He just sound awful to me. Um. Yeah. Don't we go to another caller? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go to uh, Charles. Peace, peace. Just want to reply to what the guy was talking about, man, as far as the marketing goes. Back in the day, back in the golden era, those brothers were spitting that stuff regardless of, uh, uh, I'm sorry, in spite of the uh, the labels or, or the, the brands, the clothing companies, the, the, the vodka, man. They were saying what was hot in the hood. Nowadays, these young boys are getting paid to say this, and they're, they're you know, the influence is there from a corporate level where... It was, it was happening in spite of Wu. That's a good. That's a really good point. So uh, let me re- reiterate it because your phone was kind of break, breaking up. What he's saying oh, was bad. they. Well, it wasn't. It was he. They were. They were telling you what they were rocking in the fucking hood, and then that would blow that shit up cross country. Now it's reversed, where literally I'm like Nike, and I'm or or I'm I'm fucking Fendi, and I'm like, hey man, take this money and make a fucking song about this shit. I, I I hear that point, and I think that's a that's a that's a valid point. I I think the ability to have your own audience skews things, right? Like, because you you didn't have a direct one to one relationship with your own audience until recently. So when you have a direct relationship with your own audience, you're now being you know now that's when the brands reach out to you in order for you to pitch their their products. That wasn't something that was even around then. So I think that's where that kind of comes from. I think a lot of this stuff is really based on how many people can uh how many people can you galvanize to whatever you're saying, whatever music you're putting out, whatever your brand is going to be. Cuz these cats all started from somewhere and they didn't start off without rhymes and they definitely didn't get a look without having fans. Like nobody, you can't get signed now without having a fan base. Like that just doesn't happen. So anything you're rapping about before you blew up back then was generally what you were talking about or probably aspiring to. But by the time we see a lot of these guys, they've already had fans for like three, four years before they even hit the national radar or hit a big radar or before they go viral in a major way. So it may feel like that they're now pimping products really early in their career, but that's really only on the part of the career where they've had Whether it's earlier in their before. career or not, the fact, that, the fact is they're pimping products. So that that lacks authenticity. Once again, it's not like, yo, dude, I genuinely like this certain brand or I genuinely do this. It's it's oh, you pay me enough and I'll fucking rep that shit. I can't see Odd Future talking about a brand just because they're getting paid for it. I can right. see other rappers doing that though. You know, like well, just because you think- can't see <clears throat> one rapper doing it doesn't mean that other rappers don't do it. And Odd Future can let's be real, Odd Future. Those guys are middle class kids. They have they had they have the luxury to fucking turn down shit. You know what I mean? It's not like they were it's not like they they were fucking struggling. I don't think that that that's something that's different though. Like I don't really look at like you know uh whether someone had the I don't, I don't think that this generation is the first generation where people signed up to pimp products that they didn't care about. And we saw Mary J Blige sing a Burger King commercial dancing about some chicken. You know, that's not, that's Mary J. Blige. She might have really liked Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, know, she she dis, she definitely distanced herself from that spot very early after it released and she saw that that reaction. All right, let's play, let's play some music. Come on back. Perfect. 
Uh, all right, man, we're back. Justin Hunt, you act like I don't like the song. I'm just not mind blown by him saying all my friends are dead. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I wasn't like, whoa. Did you hear that? <laughs> what? His friends are dead. His money. God. Like, I'm just like, all right, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> Fair enough. That's what's up there. As long as as long as you as long as you're entertained by the song, I like 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 I was saying, man. I like it when people can take old things like love, lust, money, party, whatever, and find new creative ways to express it. Yeah. Now it's definitely not. You know, I didn't have to. You know, it's not something you necessarily have to like. You know, uh, write down the lyrics to and research and then you know figure out the wordplay to understand. Right. 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 But <laughs> maybe this is to your point. I'm pretty sure some people in this generation had to do that. You know, I think Genius probably came in. They're like, "Oh, it's actually money. It's not the fact that he, his friends are out there in the streets getting the wired on." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, they're making they're making rap for twelve year old white girls now. <laughs> That's it. Right. So there's gonna be a dip in in quality. That's it. <laughs>